be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video is going to be for those who are brand new to Logic Pro. I'm going to be showing you how to make your first beat in Logic Pro in 2025. So if you're brand new to the channel, happy new years and welcome to Beat Making Basics. Basically what we're here to do is show you how to make beats in Logic Pro. Super simple and easy. So let's just go ahead and get started. We'll start off with an empty project. And first things first, you're gonna go and quickly get started by using a MIDI track, okay? What we can do here is go to um, under instrument and just come in and start off with an, a default patch. All right, so this is your library right here. You can pretty much access all the different types of sounds. You can like search for different sounds here. So say if you wanna play like a synth sound, you can just type that in and then search all the synth sounds right here. So let's go with this poly synth. If you don't have a MIDI keyboard, you can push Command K and that's going to pull up in musical typing. Now I can come over here and play around with this and make a pattern. So obviously, you know, you can use all the white keys or a combination of the white and black keys just to keep it simple. So let's just go with that. Do something like that. So you can kind of play around with basically a simple melody here, double click, and then your melody is gonna pop open in uh, this window right here. This is gonna be your grid right here, it's your panel row. If you click right here in the middle of that and push Command A, it's gonna highlight everything, and now you can go in and quantize that. It's gonna snap it to the grid. So I usually go like one over 16A, and you can just turn on your loop. And if it's kind of messing up with the notes, you can go like one over six, one over eight. And the cool thing about, you know, working with MIDI is you can always shorten or long, make the, uh, the notes long, longer, basically. So I'll come over here, shorten that note like that. Make this note longer. And the cool thing too is since it's MIDI, I can actually change the sound on this too. So. One trick is layering, so I can just push Command D. That's gonna make a photocopy of this actual track, and then I can hold down um, Option and drag this down, and now this whole pattern is copied right here. Then I can come in here and change the actual MIDI sound. That's actually a good tip because it's like sometimes you'll play something it might not sound super crazy fire but if you change the sound it might so we're gonna go with that I'm gonna go ahead and immediately start working on the drums now just click the plus sign MIDI track and what I like to do is actually you can use the drums that are stock here the ultra beat drum synth and stuff like that but I like to go to the sampler and then go to the quick sampler, push create. Like 
quick sampler is pretty easy to use. You can actually drag third party sounds and loops and stuff like that right in here. You can even use sounds straight from your Apple loops over here. So I can go over here, go to genre, hip hop. I can push like drums. Let's just say if we wanted to grab some of those drums, I can put this in here under original and then you have your, you know, sample right here. Now, if I wanted to chop this up and use each individual drum transient, I can go to slice and it's automatically going to do it for me. And I can go ahead and push command K. can find which one you want push Z to go down an octave X to go up I don't really like this drum pattern that well you know what I'm saying but you can also go to sound packs here as well Let's go to this beat tape. And grab kicks. Come in and clap. And et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? So just to keep this going, I'm just going to lay down a clap pattern real quick. Do it like that. And um, just push record right quick. Then the same process here, go right here in your panel row, click in the grid. Command A to highlight it and quantize it. And I can turn this down here. And the cool thing here is if you push Command D, that's going to double it. And instead of having to like create a new track and open up the quick sampler again, everything you already have the quick sampler right here, and you also already have um, your previous sample. So I can keep on coming in here, drag in some other sounds. Again, you can just search it. same process here now you can also use third-party sounds that are not in logic um, it really would be the same process come over here MIDI track instrument then you go down the sampler quick sampler and once you open up the sampler you would just drag and drop your sounds right here and one cool tip if you click on default preset and go save as your sounds will save right here and you can search and it will start to build up your you know sound bank so like I can come over here to like a rap lords clap which you can get the rap lords clap from my uh, site beatmakerbasics.com and I can add that into the to the um, drums making beats I like to layer a lot as you can see what I'm doing here like kind of repeating the same pattern but using different sounds just to add more texture you can use 
just layering with the drums or the melody. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep on going and add this time a kick. Let's go over here to our rap lords. Let's get this kick. Cool thing too, within the quick sampler, if you want, you can actually turn on some of these options as well and manipulate the sound. So I can put this filter on. kind of have a different sounding kick. Same process, clicking here in the grid, push command A to highlight it and then quantize it. Push command D. This is gonna double up the track real quick and you already have your quick sampler open. You can always just change the sound out. Let's grab one of these other hi-hats. Now, if you're brand new, you can also come in here and draw your notes in. If you push command, going to bring in different notes and you can come over here in the grid and draw them. And I recommend starting off like with one measure and just maximizing that and then you can just copy and paste. Then you just cut, hold down option, drag this over like this. Like so, and you can move this note around if you want on each one of these. And now we have a hi-hat pattern and I can join this together by pushing Command J. Another tip, especially if you're brand new, is you want to make sure you're working on your levels. You don't want this to be clipping right here. So you can come over here and click on your mixer window now. Close some of these other windows and you can work on your mix. So quick little tip when it comes to like clipping, you just literally highlight all your tracks and just bring the levels down like so. You want to leave like 6 dB, 5 dB of headroom and then you can go from your mix to there. And again, cool thing about this is you can change out these sounds. So say if you don't like a snare or a clap or whatever, you can always swap it out since it's MIDI. So one thing I'll do here is name this, just double click there. And just to make it simple, just name it real quick. So we can keep it simple. Um, say simp one, simp one, simp two. Even though I did this one, I could, you know, however you want to do it. Yeah, I'll do it like simp one, simp two. And then, as you can see here, it still has the old name here. So you highlight this and you just push. shift option and the letter N for new. And now I have everything named here and named here. And that's going to help when it comes to making your beats, you know what I'm saying? And staying organized. So for this first lesson of 2025 on how to make beats, especially if you're brand new in Logic Pro 10, not Pro 10, excuse me, Pro 11 at this point, um, just wanted to go over how to build a quick beat. Um, 
make sure that you get subscribed if you want to hear some more on how to make beats in logic pro in 2025 this is our first lesson appreciate you watching make sure you go to my site beatmakingbasics.com we have full video courses that you can purchase we also have our beat making master bundle it comes with every single course kit and template on the site it's a lot of value all my courses um, break down different fundamentals of music production just like how i'm doing right here in this video but it's a little bit more organized a little bit more focused so check out what i got going on on the site and i appreciate y'all watching i'll see you in the next video